GP Kids, it's Miss Pam. Hey, I'm here at the church. Does this wall look familiar to you? Uh, good thing is, is that most of the stuff that's on this wall is still up there two months later, which is a really big thing. But you all know that, I'm gonna pan up here, that our words, you know, we kept losing our E's. There's a lot more letters that have come down. <laughs> But don't worry, we'll get them back up by the time you guys come back. So I just wanted to, uh, like I said, come into church today and be just in this place with you this morning. So before we start today's message, let's get up and let's worship together. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, 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 oh. we trust we trust we trust in you jesus you're all you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us whole and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. We're off on this journey. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust. GP kids. Hey, it's Miss Pam. Just putting on a little perfume, even though you don't have smell of vision and can't smell how fancy it is. Uh, I wanted to put it on today and it actually reminded me of a Bible story I wanted to share with you. So hey, grab your Bible and turn to Matthew chapter 26. That's where our story comes from today. Matthew chapter 26. Today's story is actually about someone who used some expensive perfume. Have you guys ever tried perfume or cologne or anything like that? Maybe you've actually used essential oils. Uh, I know that some people use those these days. Uh, this is kind of what we're talking about. Things that smell good. Well, this story has some fancy expensive perfume in it. And uh, what would you think if I poured this entire bottle of perfume over your head? 
I'm thinking that you probably would be a little upset with me. <laughs> I think that some of those boys especially would be upset with me, <laughs> would go around smelling like flowers all day. But you know what? You would smell lovely, absolutely lovely. <laughs> Well, I tell you, that seems kind of silly, but that's what happens in our story today in Matthew chapter 26. See, you probably wouldn't like having a whole thing of perfume hung over your head and drop on you, right? Probably wouldn't like it. But in Bible times, this wasn't really that uncommon. Uh, giving perfume was a way to show someone that you loved them and you cared for them. So let's see what happens in this story. Bryn, will you read chapter 26 of Matthew, verses 6 and 7? Matthew 26, verse 6 to 7. While Jesus is in Bethany, in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar, a very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head while he was reclining at the table. Thank you, Brittany. Hey, it might seem kind of weird, especially today, like I said, to pour an entire bottle of perfume on someone's head. Now, this bottle of perfume meant a lot to this lady. Uh, back in those days, it would be like the most expensive thing she would have probably owned, uh, including even the jar itself. Um, so for her to give up the most expensive and, and, and a prized possession, if you will, uh, to pouring over Jesus's head was a huge thing. But, you know, it got me thinking, what are some of the things that we do today to honor people? Um, last Sunday was Mother's Day. Perhaps you did something to honor your mom, whether that was uh, maybe cleaning or uh, serving breakfast in bed or making our lunch or giving her a gift, making her a card, right? That's something that we do to honor our mom and show mom that we love her. Uh, it also made me think about uh, you know, this time of year, we have a lot of graduations happening where people are graduating from high school or college, right? And we honor that person usually with gifts or cards again and just congratulations saying how proud we are of them, right? It's a way to honor. If uh, we've got a birthday party, everybody loves a birthday party, right? We go to the birthday party and we take a gift for the birthday person just to honor them and uh, let them know that we love them, right? It's a way to just show our love to them by celebrating with them whatever it is that day. So we honor the people that we love. Some people who study the Bible think that maybe this person, uh, Mary, was, uh, was sorry, Jesus' friend Mary, but we're not really sure. But whoever this woman was, uh, she must have loved Jesus a lot to give him such an expensive gift. You know, not everybody was happy about it. Matter of fact, the disciples and the, and the people sitting with him were like, what is going on? Grayson, will you read the next part of this story for us? When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? They asked this perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Thanks, Grayson. Hey, so Jesus appreciates our love, but not everybody appreciated what the woman did, right? Uh, the disciples got angry about it, which seems a little weird. Uh, but here's what Jesus replied to the disciples. Hey, Christina, can you read the next few verses for us? Matthew 26, 10 through 13. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, Why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured this perfume on my body, she did it to prepare me for burial. I tell you the truth, wherever this gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Thanks, Christina. How would you feel when someone gives you a gift? Uh, would you feel happy? Would you feel sad or angry? Hopefully not sad or angry, right? I would say that most of us would be so excited to receive a gift of love and feel honored. Well, like I said, Jesus appreciates our love and he appreciates this woman's uh, loving actions. Uh, he said that people all over the world would be talking about what she had done. 
um, for him. But, you know, here we are all these years later and we're still talking about it, which is pretty cool. What she had done not only was something that would honor kings, like I said at the beginning of this lesson, uh, putting perfume over the heads of kings was a way to just establish them as king and honor them, right? So not only had she done that for Jesus, but uh, Jesus also said that her oil was preparing him for a burial. Uh, back in the day of Jesus' time, uh, when people would die, they would actually pour uh, perfume over them as a way to help just their bodies smell a little bit better uh, after they had passed away. If you remember back to our Easter lesson where we had our marshmallows, right? And Chef Claire was showing us that uh, we took our marshmallows, which represented Jesus. We anointed him in oil and burial spices, right? Uh, which was happened to be our butter and our cinnamon sugar at the time. But uh, that's what she was doing. That's what Jesus had said. Jesus knew he was about to die on a cross at this moment. And sometimes, like I said, people would use that perfume uh, for uh, people who had passed. This woman's act of love showed honor to Jesus as her king and thanked him for the gift of his life. Jesus appreciated that. Now, let's show Jesus how much uh, honor and thanks that we have for him uh, because Jesus appreciates hearing it, right? So what I want you to do is pause this video or after this video ends, I want you to take just a few minutes of time, maybe in silence and just think about all the things that Jesus has done for you and what you could give back to him, just our thankfulness of how he's loved us and given us family and friends. And even in this uh, crazy time that we're living in in our world right now, where it might seem a little scary that God has protected us, that Jesus has been with us through all of this. So I want you to take the time uh, just to give him something and tell or tell him something that you love about him and thank him for. Uh, Jesus appreciates the love that you share with him, right? It's so true. Like I've said before, everybody enjoys hearing I love you, right? So of course we want to tell Jesus that. Hey, would you pray with me this morning? Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life and all that you have given us. Uh, we just love you so much, and I know that you love us, and we always think about that. And uh, just help us this week to remember that we need to show you how much we love you uh, with just our words and uh, maybe making some other people smile around us um, and showing and sharing your love with them as well. Uh, we love you. Give this day to you. And uh, it's all in your name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, until next week, God loves you, so do I. And we'll have a good one. All right, bye bye. Morning, everybody. I hope you've all had a good time doing your GP Kids crafts over the last few weeks. I have loved getting texts and emails with pictures of you guys doing your crafts on Sunday mornings or when you've had a free moment during the week. I wanted to let you all know that we have another set of crafts ready at the church for you to come pick up. Um, when you get here, you're going to see a green tote that says craft kits. You can open it up, and inside you'll find a bag. You need one for each preschooler and elementary kid in your family. And this has the crafts for today, as well as for the next two Sundays for you to do when you get a chance. Um, also, while you're here, you'll notice that there's another green tote next to ours. That's the tote for the open table um, food pantry. So if you have any um, cereal boxes, I know they're really in need of that, or any other non-perishable food at your house, feel free to bring that along with you and put it inside that tote as well. All right, everyone. Hope you have a great week. See you later. Bye.